Hi guys, it's Simon from Tech My Life Video, and as you can see, I'm back with another video. It has been a while. Um, there's been a few reasons for that. But I know the first question you have is, where is the big TV that normally sits there behind you? Um, you can see a mirror where you can see the back of my head and my hands waving. Uh, well, when I came home a few weeks ago, that's what I was faced with, no television. Uh, no iPad um, and no camera that I'm uh, filming this on um, because we'd had a break-in, unfortunately. Um, but uh, thankfully, criminals be stupid. Da -da. <laughs> See, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking a new TV, he's gone out and bought a replacement television. Not the case, um, because if you see this little tag up here in the corner, it's actually a police tag. And just some advice out there for you want to be criminals. When you're going to break into a house, when you're going to break into a house, don't drop a Centrelink pension card with your name and address on it. Now, if you're not an Australian, Centrelink is like our social services. Um, so yeah, don't drop uh, something with your name and address on it because you'll get arrested the next day. Just a bit of advice. Just take that from me. Take my life. Um, so yeah, basically what happened was um, our house was broken into. Um, they stole. Um, they stole a lot of things. Uh, things that I got back um, were um, um, some stuff that I didn't realize was even gone. Some smaller items, USB drives, watch, and things like that. But um, they got my iPad. They got this TV. Um, they wrecked this TV in the process. They've ripped the uh, the television antenna out of it, so it can't be used as a TV. Um, uh, without a set-top box attached, which is a bit annoying. Um, they've also scratched um, the, the frame about, around the TV, so I'm a bit annoyed about that. Um, the remote control uh, we thought was lost, but the police actually tracked it down in their storage. Um, so I lost my camera, the one I'm shooting this on, um, that you've probably seen an unboxing of. I lost my Canon uh, digital SLR. This stuff uh, was the stuff that I got back. Um, There's still quite a bit of stuff. Um, that um, that they got uh, that um, yeah I had I um, I haven't got back unfortunately um, but um, more disappointing um, uh, was my uh, parents my mum who had a bunch of jewellery stolen um, won't go through my entire living situation but I'm living with my parents at the moment which sounds a bit oh, a bit a bit sad um, I'm actually relocating soon but. Um, Basically, she had a lot of jewellery stolen, which hasn't been returned, um, which is a bit disappointing. Um, so, you know, that's life. But this is video one. There is going to be some more um, on this story. But um, got the TV back, which is one thing. Got the camera back. Um, and there was also on the camera was a little bit of footage, which I'll show you here. And what it says is, when you're going to pinch a video camera, don't shoot footage of yourself on it. Especially if you've dropped a Centrelink pension card and you're going to get busted the next day. Um, so it was all, all very cool um, that um, we got some things back and I guess sometimes uh, karma gets people. Um, but uh, I was very lucky that they hadn't stolen my Mac, um, my Mac Pro and um, you know a bunch of other stuff, all my backup drives and things like that and you know it would have just been nightmarish if, um, if that had happened. Um, uh, but one thing all I'd say is make sure you've got adequate insurance. Um, use some in inventory software. Um, I'm actually looking at some at the moment and look I might even do a review of that once I um, decide on which one I'm going to use. Um, but uh, inventory software um, that has a um, photos of everything, backup, uh, off-site, uh, even of that file, um, whether it just be in Dropbox or something like that. Um, uh, backup all your um, um, uh, computer stuff, have an off-site backup, um, um, if, especially if you've got a um, um, you know, business or something like that, and make sure you've got adequate insurance. Uh, make sure your policy um, does cover the things you have um, like jewellery and things like that, a lot of uh, policies like um, the one my parents have got is limited unfortunately. Um, so unfortunately they're not going to see um, a, well, a proper payout for that kind of stuff, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but it's a lesson learned, I guess. So that's my advice to you guys out there. Um, so yeah, look, I'm, as I said, I'm going to be re relocating soon and I hope to have a dedicated kind of 
place to uh, shoot my videos um, so I can um, uh, produce some more content on a more regular basis because I've had messages from people um, the um, uh, 100 plus subscribers that I've already got saying make some more stuff um, I'm very appreciative for anybody who watches my videos please subscribe um, I, as I said I will be doing more stuff soon um, I'm very happy that I've had 50,000 plus views of fully original content you know I'm not posting videos um, from computer games or movies or you know um, other things uh, it is just me talking to a camera basically um, so I am very appreciative of that. So please subscribe, um, and I uh, hope to be producing more, more stuff for you very, very soon. Um, and uh, some of it will be about an iPad uh, 3, or I shouldn't say 3, the new iPad, which um, due to this break-in, I now have, um, which I wasn't expecting to have. So I now have uh, something else to talk about. So we'll talk about that soon. Um, I'm Simon from Techno Life Video. Thanks for watching. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Look, I do this very unscripted, so I can make mistakes. Hey Dan, what's going on? That's not pointing at me. I want you to be able to see my beautiful face. And my jewellery is jangling, so we'll just put that away in there. You press record on a camera and your brain just goes to mush.